live look outside right now of the super blue blood moon. This full moon is special for three reasons. One, the moon is closer to the Earth than its orbit. Two, it's the second full moon of the month, commonly known as a blue moon. And finally, this super blue moon will pass through Earth's shadow for a total lunar eclipse around 530 our time, about a half hour. Plus, while in the Earth's shadow, the moon will take on a reddish tint and that is known as the blood moon. Right now you can kind of see a little bit of the reddish tint, especially on this shot from NASA, but I guess it will get a little more red, Justin, maybe as the half hour goes on. Well, peak totality, Dana, was uh, about nine minutes ago at 451, but oh. you're exactly right for the next half hour to an hour. Actually, uh, the moon does still with the eclipse have that reddish hue, and it's a little more obvious to your eye if you step outside or poke your head out the window. And we were talking, I mean, this is a once in 150 year <laughs> occurrence, right? I That's mean, true. Lunar eclipses are fairly common, yeah. but the combo, like Dana yes. told us, of the super and the blue and yeah. the blood is impressive and rare. Huh? Yes. Okay. These guys are laughing because my kids begged me to stay up all night long to watch it, and I said, no, and they kept saying, it's <laughs> only going to happen once in our lifetime, and I mistakenly said, no, it's not. Go to bed. <laughs> Whoops. Well, Mom well, fail. It, it is nice to, to poke your head outside and, and see this. Pretty, pretty neat to see and our weather is on the cool side.